The 2023 IMSA and WEC seasons are right around the corner, but there's still a question floating around between the fans from both categories. What's LMH and LMDH and what are the differences? Well, in today's video, we will be having a look at the specifications from each car and the teams that have or will build each type of prototype. With no further ado, let's get started. Let's start with LMH. LMH stands for Le Mans Hypercar and these regulations were designed by the FIA and ACO to become the replacement for LMP1 which was going down here with no brakes. They have been racing for two seasons so far, 2021 and 2022, with three cars built around these regulations, the Toyota GRO10, the Peugeot 9X8 and the Glickenhaus SCG007. LMH manufacturers will have to design and build their whole car and they are allowed to design any concept they want as long as it's within the regulations. One great example from this is the Peugeot 9x8, a well designed from the French brand who have decided to not use a rear wing unlike the rest of the teams. Not only the teams can build LMH from scratch but they can also be based around actual road cars. The LMH cars should weigh between 1030kg and they can have a hybrid system which can deliver power to the front and rear tyres or just the rear ones, but the system is not mandatory. Moving on, we have the LMDH. LMDH stands for Le Mans Daytona Hybrid and the regulations were designed by IMSA and ACO. They will make their debut in 2023 in both the WEC and IMSA categories, but the teams that will run LMDH won't have as much freedom as the LMH manufacturers. You see, LMDH cars have to be built by one out of four possible companies, Orica, Multimatic, Ligier or Dallara. In these cars, we can find a limited maximum power output of 640 horsepower, which combined to the hybrid system which is mandatory for the LMDH can reach 671 horsepower. They also have to weigh the same as the LMH cars, 1,030 kilos. Remember how we said earlier that the LMH regulations had no budget limit? Well, on the other hand, the LMDH regulations do have a cost cap. It is a total of 1 million euro without including the internal combustion engine. Just so you can imagine the difference from the cost, running to hypercars will cost an 80% less than running two LMP1 cars. Now that we know the differences between LMDH and LMH, there is also something which will be included in both IMSA and WEC to make sure the LMH and LMDH cars are as close as possible in each race. The system is called BOP, short for Balance of Performance. We saw it last season working out perfectly with the Toyota and Glicka now fighting for overall victories and even Peugeot being close to Toyota in the last 2022 WEC round at Bahrain. Of course, you might know that I'm missing a car from the 2022 WEC Championship, the grandfather of LP and LMP1, but that is a story I will tell another day. So, with everything clear between both specifications, which team will run what kind of car and in what championship? Let's start with the LMH. Running the LMH regulations, we have six different teams. Toyota, Glickenhaus, Peugeot, Ferrari, Banwell and Isota Flaschini. There are also rumours around a possible Di Tommaso LMH coming for 2024 based on their road car, but until official confirmation is released, it will remain on the sidelines. Now, all of these six LMH are racing in the WC only, but some cars like the Peugeot 9 8 and the Ferrari 499P have been rumoured to be close to joining IMSA in 2024 with another name. LMDH has six different teams as well, Porsche, Acura, BMW and Cadillac. Wait, wait a minute, I said six teams, how on earth did we end up with four? Well that is an easy question to answer. The four teams mentioned earlier will make their debut in 2023 in IMSA and WC only for Porsche and Cadillac. In 2024 however, Lamborghini and Alpine will build two new LMDH cars to join WEC. Now, Lamborghini will also join IMSA in 2024 but Alpine will not, at least under that name. There have been rumours lately about Nissan joining Insta with the Alpine LMDH in 2024. So, how does this leave us for 2024 WC and IMSA? Well, in WEC for 2024, we will have Toyota, Glickenhaus, Peugeot, Ferrari, Porsche, Cadillac, BMW, Banwell, Isota Fraschini, Lamborghini and Alpine. Meanwhile, in IMSA, we will have Porsche, Cadillac, Acura, BMW and Lamborghini. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I hope I can see you next time around. Bye-bye.